It's a hell of a place again! Liz, calm down, we haven't even entered yet. Hum, the door is open. This is strange. This is definitely not good, Mike. I told you not to come back here. Oh, Liz, why are you whining like a dog? After all, you definitely should have stayed at home. <laughs> huh? What? Hey, Buck. What are you yelling at? I can hear you all over the factory. Why does all the garbage stick to me? Maybe because you're clumsy. Ha ha ha. And this is being taught to me by a blockhead who always gets his index finger dirty and shit when he wipes his ass. How are you guys doing? I didn't find anyone. Bob, why are you wearing a hard hat? Are you going to work here? Puck. Ice cream on your head will not save you from baldness. Finally accept that soon you will be as bald as me and Bob. Hmm. Hmm. Um, um, what idiots you are! Oh, hi guys. What are you doing here? Um, we came to look for Jay, Charlie and Granny. We also came here in search of Granny. But I will disappoint you. There is no one here. There's no one there but smelly rats. And there are also scary little left toy robots. Live robots? Right now I'm really uncomfortable. Are you sure nothing will happen to Bob on the way? Don't worry. He's done it a hundred times already. What a delicious and juicy pizza! He sits, eats his pizza, and won't even share it with his brother. Well, my little brother, do you want to eat too? I would love to share this juicy and delicious pizza with you. But I'm afraid there's only enough pizza for one. I don't need your pizza, eat it yourself. If you want to please me, then please choke and die. Oh, apparently the punishment has done you good. Since you wish me dead, gradually you become cruel. That damn nun won't even let me eat properly. <laughs> I've been waiting for you for half a day. Where are you? I decided to take a break and have a snack. Don't I have the right to rest? Come back faster and stop eating. We need to act. Nasty lady, ruined my whole dinner. <coughs> what the fuck? What was that? Oh, hello kitty, you scared me very much. Well, I'd like to play with you, but unfortunately I have to go. The evil nun has been waiting for me. <laughs> this idiot didn't even notice that he dropped his phone. It seems his mobile phone has fallen somewhere here. I have to find it. Why did we come here? Are you sure they won't find us here? I'm sure it's not your first time here. So don't ask stupid questions.
Guys, don't disperse. We haven't found Granny yet. We'll rest and go on the search again. Some strange children. Silently they went without saying anything. What do you think they should have said? Bob, go wash up you stink. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You skinny dog. Hey, Dad. What are you doing up here? It's like he saw a ghost. Oh, shit. How is that possible? Hi, boys. Nice to see you. Why are you so surprised? Granny, what are you doing here? Well, actually, this is my house and I live here. But how did you end up here? We've been looking for you for a week, and you've been here all this time. Say thank you to him for freeing me from this crazy ice cream man. If it wasn't for Manny, I'd be dead by now. Hi girls. How are you doing? If you ever try to make fun of me, your axe will end up in your ass. Well guys, we're all together again, and now our main task is to stay together, because we again had a misunderstanding with Sister Madeline, and now everything is much more serious, she can come here at any moment, and we have to be ready for that. Granny, I'm so glad you're alive. Where have you been? Don't make me laugh, I'm not one of those who is afraid of death. Granny, as far as I know... You and the guys went to the factory to look for Charlie. Did you find him? Oh, I'm going to disappoint you, but Charlie's dead. Boss Rod transformed him into a frozen zombie, and he exploded into thousands little pieces. Oh my god. Finally. Where have you been? I told you everything on the phone. Have you completely lost your memory? I'm not going to listen to your excuses. Follow me. She is completely out of her mind from loneliness. She asked me herself. And she says she doesn't want to listen. Where could I have put it? What are you looking for? And why do you need so many boxes? Are you going to move? Wait, don't say anything. I know what these boxes are. These are someone's parcels from AliExpress, and you stole them. You're a complete idiot. How did you even think of such a thing? Did I guess wrong? Oh yes. That's what I was looking for. What's in this box? I didn't have time to see. Don't shake the box, you idiot! Otherwise, we'll all blow up! I'm not taking this box anywhere, because I'm scared. You will be even more afraid when I turn you into a mouse for disobeying me. Well, Granny, soon you will pay for deceiving me. Be careful and don't open the box. There are deadly weapons inside the box.
the Dominican appeared. We barely managed to get out of there. And now I live in constant fear that some kind of electric discharge could fly into my head at any moment. That thing killed a defenseless and innocent girl, Miss Pinky. Therefore, the nun must experience the most terrible torments. Why the hell are these embers still lying here? Stupid sons! I gave you a task to clean up this garbage! You asked where Boss Rod was. Here he is! What if right now, I take and... No! I have a much better idea. I'll do it right in front of her. You shouldn't have touched her, son. You don't understand who you're dealing with. Because of the damn old woman, I lost my abilities. No one is afraid of me anymore. I am no longer considered as powerful as I used to be. Ah! How does it hurt? My head is about to explode. What's going on? We need to get out of this stupid park as soon as possible. Hey, my park is not stupid at all. Ah! Oh shit. Granny, help me. He's going to kill me now. What is this monster doing there? There's no one there. Why is he sitting there? I do not know what he is doing there. But I think we need to get out of here before he chases us. Granny, don't leave me here. Help me. Save me. Well, that's it. You're finished, Penny. I'll never be able to perform in a circus. <laughs> oh crap, I couldn't catch him. But, it's okay. You shouldn't have left me here alone, Granny. Wow! Damn, the box has opened. Hmm, but nothing terrible happened. Either the nun deceived me, or she panicked for nothing. Always, we haven't been able to find Charlie yet, but I'm sure he'll be found soon. Damn it, how am I supposed to tell her that Charlie is dead? Oh Granny, I brought you a package. Penny, where did you go? When I came back, you were missing somewhere. So much has happened. Grandpa and the twins have already returned. And where have you been? Um, me. I went to get your package. Hmm. All right, take it to the basement. I'm not up to parcels right now. Something Pennywise looks very suspicious. Granny, it's me, Penny. Listen to me carefully. Penny? Don't you have anything else to do? Why are you calling me from an unknown number while in my house? Granny, I'm not kidding. Please believe me and listen to me. I was kidnapped and locked in the death park by my twin brother. 
Granny, where's your basement here? Is he with you now? Don't believe him. It's not me. He's in league with that crazy man. They're going to kill you and your whole family. Don't believe my brother. Better get me out of here soon, and I'll help you. Granny? Granny? Don't be silent. Granny. What happened there? You don't have a face on you. Who called? Um, yes there. Slendrina forgot to turn off the iron and burned all her things. <laughs> Wait a second. She's suspicious. I think she's got me figured out. Penny, give me the box. I'll take it to the basement myself. I miss my brother very much. Where is he? I hope he's still alive. Don't worry, Liz. We will defy nightly find Charlie. Jay, you were the last person to see Charlie. What if he managed to tell you something? And anyway, where have you been for so long? Oh, Liz, an incredible story has happened to me, which will be hard to believe. What kind of creepy monster is this? To be honest, I'm going to shit myself out of fear. Precisely. I think I've got a brilliant idea. In vain this weirdo contacted me. Come on freak, I'm here, grab me if you can. I hit him with my left right, but this monster was able to dodge my blows. And then I decided to outsmart him. I made a movement as if I was going to hit him with all my might with my fist, but then I sharply kicked him in the head, the monster fell, and I quickly ran away. Huh? What? The day of our meeting has finally come. Rod Sullivan. I know who I'm dealing with. With a scary demon and upsecopath which harms everyone who is not lucky enough to catch her eye. Who knows how many other innocent people she has already killed? Do you know? No one knows this. Because those who could have known it are most likely no longer alive. I do not know how many she has killed. But I know one thing. Soon she will take your soul too. Why are you so sure about this? I saw the horror that she created with her eyes. Come with me. Tell me about everything in order. Damn! It seems I'm not the only one who wanted to meet him. Everything is not going according to plan. It seems I'm not alone here. 
I need to tell Sister Madeline right away. Ah. How is this possible? You're dead. Oh, hello. Are you a new factory worker? Could you tell me where my son brought is? I can't find him anywhere. Your son? He's dead. Sorry, I have to run. What do you mean my son is dead? Rot hired some crazy people. Damn it. Boss Rod is dead. Which means Rod runs the factory. Well, well, well. Who is it we have here? How could you defrost? I've frozen you forever and ever. Perhaps God himself is protecting me. And has given me another chance to get rid of you forever. <laughs> if you want, let me finish him right now. I'd love to see you break all his bones. Oh. I wouldn't recommend doing that. What the fuck? How did you manage to knock him down with one punch? I found this in Boss Rod office. I injected myself with a serum and felt the powerful surge of strength. And I'm looking forward to finding out what else I can do. Calm down. Calm down. I'm sure we can come to an agreement. Maybe I have something to offer you. How you got me? Are you crazy? Why did you cut it in half? It's your turn. Well, perhaps it's time to eat a little. Where the hell are you? I've eaten everything for a long time. Are you just going to stand here? Get out of my sight! Bring me the one who made this ice cream. Your Grace! The chef has arrived on your orders! <laughs> what? Why is my chef a pig? You executed all the other chefs, your grace. Slaughter a pig for me, and bring the witch to me. I finally waited for you. Why did you want to see me? Answer me. Do you know how to make ice cream? Unfortunately, no. Do you want to poison someone with ice cream? No, no, no. I want to eat ice cream myself. I love ice cream. In that case, I can't help you in any way. I think you're wrong because you can help me. You have exactly three days to conjure me an ice cream man, who will cook me the most delicious ice cream and will not try to poison me. But if you disobey me, 
and try to deceive me. I will cut off your other hand. Maybe I'll even chop off your head. I will do my best, your grace. Well, do your best. It's in your interest after all. If you care about your hand, you'll do the impossible. Now go, class Tiki. Oh, how hard it is to be a king. I have such a big responsibility. The damn king. I'm very tired of him. This will be my last help to him. So, what do we have here? Invoke the ice cream man. If it's a new hara to my boy, is the Nara he does, Tanya. Early that I had had him made a steady how, and it was trained by the Dada of a super stink Don't kill me, please. Let's make a deal. Goodbye, Rod. You've lived long enough, considering that you shouldn't have been born at all. What's happening to me? What are you up to, you fucking bastard? Help me! What the hell? Where did he disappear to? I don't believe in that in some days he attacked that he told that Stana. Yes! For the first time, the spell worked the first time. Hey, who are you? Where am I? What is this strange place? How did I end up here? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. I summoned you with the help of witchcraft in order for you to help me. Help? But how can I help you? And why me? I'll tell you everything on the way to the palace. We need to hurry. Your Majesty! Huh? What are you yelling at, you idiot? Can't you see I'm dreaming? Uh, uh, uh. Forgive me for disturbing your holy sleep, Your Majesty. I've come to report that the witch has arrived at the castle with an ice cream man. Great. Tell them to wait. I'll be right there. And stop staring at my beautiful muscular body! <laughs> so where is the damn king? I'm tired of waiting. Shut up and wait for the king in silence. I'll make him the most delicious ice cream in the world. He'll be stunned when he tries it. So, you are the best ice cream maker in the world. And you can make me the most delicious ice cream I've ever eaten. Yes, you will never find anyone better than me. Your Majesty, I have carried out your instructions. Can I go now? Yes, I'll leave you alone for a while and now go. <laughs> so, what are we going to do? Gods, lock him up in a dungeon and make sure he doesn't escape. To the dungeon. Hey, you fucking fat king. You tricked me. Hush, hush. I won't run away. There are only traitors around and everyone wants me dead. You've done your job perfectly. You can rest for now. Lovely. Finally, I can take a break from all the dirty work. 
Don't stretch your rest. We still have a lot of work to do. Ah! Mr. Madeline, what the hell is going on? Calm down, Ronald. Don't shout. What's wrong? Why didn't you tell me that Joseph Sullivan is alive? Sorry, but in that case I can't help you. Alive! Rod was supposed to kill them. Rod is dead. What do you mean dead? This can't be happening. Come with me and you will see it with your own eyes. Hurry up, Ronald! There's not a minute to lose! Stop. Turn around. To your right, your new place of residence. That's where you'll spend the rest of your days. And now go, and without sudden movements. If you try to escape, I'll crack your skull with my spear. Will I be fed today? Of course. Today for dinner you will have a signature dish from the chef called... Shit of the King. How boring it is to sit in four walls without doing anything. Hey boss, when am I going to be released? After all, your king needs me to make ice cream for him, not to sit in a dungeon doing nothing. Our great king will need you only when he expresses a desire to eat your ice cream. Therefore, close your mouth and do not make unnecessary sounds, otherwise the king will get angry and order you to be executed. Let me out now, you damn guard! So, you like ice cream, your majesty? Well, you will have the most delicious ice cream. <laughs> The king wants to see the ice cream man right now. Take him to him. Now I'll open the bars. Come out slowly, and don't try to escape. Well, finally, I will prove to the king that I am the best ice cream maker in the whole world. Stop dancing! Come out of the dungeon! You can let go of your hands. I'd like to try your ice cream and see if it's really the most delicious. But if I like it, your head will fly off your shoulder. Do not hesitate, your majesty. You will definitely like it. Take him to the kitchen! Where shall I go? To the left. And hurry up! I'm already starving! Help yourself, your majesty. Pray that I really like this ice cream. Um, nom, nom. Yeah. Do you know what that sound means? No. 
That sound meant that your ice cream was really the most delicious I've ever eaten. Good job, ice cream man. So now you're going to let me go? Of course not, you fool. Who could tell you that? Gods, take him back to the dungeon! Come on, move! Hmm, okay, so, how much time do I have? Exactly one hour. Stop! What are you mumbling about? What other hour? Oh, nothing. I was just counting how long it would take me to make the next batch of ice cream. Ha 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 ha.